I'm often asked, David, which Wi-Fi adapter should I purchase? And do I actually need a Wi-Fi adapter to hack using Kali Linux or Parrot OS or something else? And the answer is, as always in life, it depends. Here I've got a whole bunch of Wi-Fi adapters and I'm gonna discuss which Wi-Fi adapters I would recommend. Now, before I continue, you may have noticed that I've spent quite a bit of money buying Wi-Fi adapters. If you find this video useful, please consider supporting me by subscribing to my YouTube channel, by liking this video and clicking on the bell to get notifications. That really does help me with the YouTube robots and helps me cover the cost of adapters like this. Let me know if you want me to buy any more adapters to review and I'll try and buy those and discuss them. Hopefully you'll find this video useful. So again, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Okay, let's get started. This is an introductory video where I discuss these Wi-Fi adapters and I'll give you my recommendation about which one to purchase. Let me know if you agree. Perhaps you have found other Wi-Fi adapters that are better than what I'm showing you here. So please comment below and let me know if there are any Wi-Fi adapters that you think work really well with Kali Linux or Parrot OS or something else. Now let me start with this question. Do you need to buy a Wi-Fi adapter? So would you need to purchase an external Wi-Fi adapter such as this Alpha Wi-Fi adapter or this Wi-Fi adapter? And the answer once again is it depends. Laptops come with built-in Wi-Fi. So why can't you use the Wi-Fi adapter in your laptop? And the answer is often they don't support monitor and injection mode. You're going to need to change your Wi-Fi settings. So as an example, if you wanna run a denial of service attack, such as I demonstrated in this video, you need to put this Wi-Fi adapter into monitor mode. So it can't be in managed mode, it needs to go into monitor mode so that you can monitor traffic and you want to inject packets. So if you, as an example, want to send deauthentication messages to knock a client off a Wi-Fi network, if you wanna capture the four-way handshake, if you wanna run a rogue access point, your Wi-Fi adapter needs to support monitor and injection mode, and often the Wi-Fi adapters in laptops don't support those modes. Another problem is that a lot of us will run Kali Linux or Proud OS or something else within a virtual machine. In this example, I'm running Kali Linux within a virtual machine on my Mac. And in this example, I'm running it within a virtual machine on Windows, but that causes a problem. Your virtual machine won't be able to see the Wi-Fi adapter within your laptop. It displays as an ethernet interface rather than a Wi-Fi adapter. So you need an external adapter like these so that your virtual machine can see the Wi-Fi adapter to sniff and hack Wi-Fi networks. Now, if you do decide to install Kali or Parrot OS directly on bare metal, so you're running it directly on your hardware, you could use the Wi-Fi adapter within your laptop, but that again depends on whether it supports monitor mode and packet injection as an example. So if you wanna set up a rogue access point or you wanna de-auth clients from a Wi-Fi network, your network card may simply not support that. So hopefully that answers the question of why you'd purchase one of these Wi-Fi adapters. The next question is, which one? So here you need to make some decisions. Are you gonna purchase a Wi-Fi adapter that only supports 2.4 gigahertz? Or are you gonna purchase a Wi-Fi adapter that supports both 2.4 gigahertz as well as five gigahertz? As an example, this alpha adapter only supports 2.4 gigahertz. The chipset in this adapter does not support five gigahertz. So if you wanna hack 802.11a, you can't use this Wi-Fi adapter. If you sniff a bunch of Wi-Fi networks, you'll only see the 2.4 gigahertz networks, you won't see five gigahertz. So that will limit what you can do. This adapter, as an example, supports both 2.4 gigahertz as well as five gigahertz. So you may want to purchase this adapter rather than this adapter because it supports both 2.4 and five. But there's also another reason why I often recommend this adapter. And that's because this adapter works out of the box with Kali. On the Aircrack website, they actually recommend this adapter, but they talk about the issues with the driver. I've created a video in the past showing you how to get this Wi-Fi adapter working with Kali, but when I tested it on the latest release of Kali at the time of this recording, 2021.1, that no longer works. So I'll create an updated video showing you how to get this Wi-Fi adapter to work. So that's another consideration. Does the Wi-Fi adapter work when you plug it into Kali? Is it easy to use? Now I will say this, this one works out of the box on Kali, but this one doesn't, but they both work on Parrot OS. 
So you may prefer to use ParadoS as an example rather than Kali if you're struggling to get the Wi-Fi adapter to work within Kali. On the Aircrack website, they recommend this adapter. So if I had to choose one adapter, I would choose one of these three Wi-Fi adapters to work with Kali or ParadoS. These are my three favorite Wi-Fi adapters. I found that Alpha works really well. But that being said, another consideration is, are you gonna get a branded or unbranded so-called Wi-Fi adapter? This one is an Alpha Wi-Fi adapter. But notice this one from Wi-Fi Nation, a company in the UK. It looks like an OEM version of Alpha. Now, I'm not sure if it is, but if I look at this, these look exactly the same. They also both work out of the box. So depending on where you are in the world, you may struggle to get an Alpha adapter. I know a lot of people have told me that they struggle to get Alpha adapters. So maybe you'll simply look for an adapter that's unbranded if you like. Now, before we go any further, you need to ask yourself which chip set does the Wi-Fi adapter use? Now, there are various chipsets that are used, but I'm gonna concentrate on the two that are most important for our discussion. And the first one is the Atheros or Atheros, depending on how you wanna pronounce that, AR9271. This chipset doesn't support five gigahertz. It only supports 2.4 gigahertz. So once again, this Wi-Fi adapter has an Atheros chipset inside of it. It doesn't support five gigahertz. So don't look at the brand of Wi-Fi adapter, look at the chipset that it uses. The next one to look at is the Realtek RTL8812AU. That's the chipset in this Wi-Fi adapter. We wanna know that because this supports five gigahertz as well as 2.4 gigahertz. So looking at these two Wi-Fi adapters once again, this is an Alpha branded Wi-Fi adapter. This is a Wi-Fi Nation Wi-Fi adapter. What I really like about the Wi-Fi Nation uh, adapters here in the UK is they actually come with these little leaflets and they show you the chipset used in the Wi-Fi adapter. So as an example, here we've got an Atheros AR9271. That's the chipset used in this Wi-Fi adapter. So we know immediately that this, which may not be a well-known brand like the Alpha network adapters, has that chipset in we know immediately that that supports only 2.4 gigahertz and not five gigahertz. Really important to make that distinction. They also tell us that this Wi-Fi adapter has the Realtek RTL8812AU chipset. So this Wi-Fi adapter supports five gigahertz as well as 2.4 gigahertz. So when you look at Wi-Fi adapters such as these, don't just look at the brand, look at the chipset. The chipset is more important than the brand name. Now, some of us may prefer to buy a brand name. So here I've got some Panda Wi-Fi adapters as well. You need to look at the chipset in the Panda adapter. A lot of people like the Panda adapters. These actually have a different chipset and they support 2.4 gigahertz. Whereas this Panda adapter over here supports 2.4 as well as five gigahertz. So it's really important that you work out the chipset used within the Wi-Fi adapter because that will determine whether five gigahertz is supported or only 2.4 gigahertz is supported. Make sure that you find out about the chipset. So as an example, this 1900 adapter from Alpha has a different chipset. This is the RTL8814 AU adapter. So why is that important? Because as an example, if you install drivers on Kali for this adapter, you'll need to install different drivers for this adapter to make it work within Kali. So it's important that you know the chipset used within the adapter. So again, that'll be different to say the Panda adapters, different chipset. Now again, one of the considerations that I think is really important when you're starting out is you wanna make this as simple as possible. This adapter is really difficult to get working within Kali. So that's a disadvantage of this adapter. These Panda adapters work out of the box on Kali and so does this alpha adapter. So I think that's really important. You want adapters, especially in the beginning, that work very easily in Kali. When you're learning, there's so much stuff to try and learn. You don't wanna to have to struggle trying to get a network adapter to work within Kali and installing drivers and it doesn't work and it causes you endless trouble. It's really frustrating in the beginning to try and get some of these adapters to work in Kali. So let me state the following. This adapter doesn't work out of the box within Kali, but it does on ParaOS. Using my tests of 2020.1 of Kali, 
and the latest release of Parrot OS. So both of these adapters are great, but neither of them work out of the box in Kali. I'll show you in a separate video how to get those installed and working within Kali. Now, a question that I'm often, often asked is this TP-Link adapter. A lot of people, once again, in certain countries can't get alpha adapters, so they wanna get this TP-Link adapter. You need to be really, really careful. There are different versions of this TP-Link adapter. You have to have a version one adapter, otherwise it doesn't work. It doesn't support monitor and injection mode because they changed the chipset. You often can't find version one adapters. Today, you're gonna get version two and version three adapters. If it's not mentioned, assume that they're using a version two or version three adapter. So unless it's explicitly mentioned, it's probably gonna be two or three, which means it won't work. So I don't recommend the TP-Link adapters, but what I have done is I've purchased both a version two, which is what this one is, and a version one. I'm still waiting for the version one a TP-Link adapter to arrive. I had to buy it from eBay. I'll create a video showing you the differences between those two adapters, and I'll show you as an example how to set up these adapters within Kali. Now, some other considerations when buying network adapters is can you conceal them? I mean, this network adapter can be concealed very easily, but something like this is gonna be harder to conceal. This is gonna be more obvious than say this adapter. So you may prefer to use this adapter in some situations rather than that, or you may decide to take both network adapters. So think about whether a network adapter is obvious or if it's concealed and what your requirements are. Now this network adapter I wouldn't recommend anymore because it's gone end of life. So I used to recommend this adapter, but no longer. It does work out of the box with Kali. It has a different chipset, however, and it's gone end of life. So I wouldn't recommend that you buy this alpha adapter anymore. Now, when it comes to build quality, you may decide to buy a branded adapter such as this, rather than an adapter like this, which is not branded. But in this case, I found that both of these work just as well. And I mean, the build quality of this looks exactly the same. They've, looks like they've just changed the logo on the adapter. But you may come across some third-party Wi-Fi adapters where the quality isn't as good. So you may prefer to buy a branded product rather than an unbranded product. You may also find that the range of the branded products is better rather than unbranded products. So you know, do you buy a premium product or a cheaper product? That's a decision that you need to make as well. As an example, here's an unbranded Wi-Fi adapter that I bought. Comes with a CD, looks like this. You may decide to try and buy a Wi-Fi adapter like this and try and get it working because it's cheaper. But then again, you may struggle with the drivers for an adapter like this, but some might just work out of the box. So let me know in the comments below if you found that any unbranded Wi-Fi adapters work really well with Kali or Parrot or something else. Now, another thing you may want to consider is the range of the adapter. This adapter doesn't go or won't have the reach or the range of, let's say, an adapter like this. This has an antenna which gives it further range. But what you could do is buy an antenna like this from Alpha or somewhere else to extend the range of the adapter. So rather than using the standard antenna, use something like this that gives you a much further range. So here's an example of one of the antennas that I've purchased. Let me know if you want me to review any other Wi-Fi antennas. Uh, Alpha, I know, sells some others, and I'll review some others if you want me to. But that obviously is gonna have a much further range than some of the other antennas. This is another example of one with a lot of antennas, gives you a lot of flexibility, so you may prefer to buy one of these. Now, I was gonna talk more about these adapters, but the video is getting too long, so I'll leave it for a separate video. If you enjoyed this video though, please like it. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and clicking on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bombal, wanna wish you all the very best.